So, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I thought we were done talking about statues, but Sadiq Khan, the little shit weasel he is, is not done. He wants to take down statues because they're related to the slave trade. He doesn't give a shit about coronavirus. He wants to put money towards the thing to make sure all the statues and street names in London are taken away. Sadiq Khan orders the view of slavery linked statues and li amid racism low. It comes to after protesters took down that statue in Bristol. I'm not going to even bother. And we're going to see what he says here before reading the article because it is a piece of shit. And this guy really annoys me today. So let's go take a look at the video now. Taking statues down. I suspect uh, the recommendations of the commission may well be uh, some of the statues be taken down. For example, uh, some of the slavers. Uh, for whom there are statues across uh, our city, uh, I suspect the Commission may come back and say it's not appropriate to be memorialising, to be celebrating these people that are icons. And they may all come back and say our recommendation is to take these statues down. But it's a discussion we should have, and it's really important to bring in diverse voices. Do you think of any in particular? I don't want to name them, but we can imagine the slavery. So, for example, there are statues of people who were involved in the Royal African Company in London. There are statues of people who were plantations owners, and their contribution is solely the money is made through plantations. A number of those across uh, our city, uh, and indeed, you've, in, in the previous clip you've shown, one of those was in Bristol. That guy should be fired right now. If the Tories are going to do anything in the fucking 10 years, Sack this little shit of a man. Because I don't know if anyone actually knows about this, but it doesn't seem to be very understanding of why this is going on in the first place. Because the if you don't know about the Diversity Commission, the Commission of Diversity in the Public Realm will look at the capital's landmarks including memorials, street art, street names, statues and other memorials and consider the which legacy should be celebrated before making recommendations. So you're telling us what to think now. Welcome to 1984 people. This is how it starts. Erase the history so you can make your own. Fuck's sake. And this is also another thing he said. What This is a uh, thing the Sky News boy he did as well. Or there was a Telegraph thing. When you look at the public realm, street names, street squares, murals, not only are some of the slavers I think should be torn down, taken down, sorry, and the co commission will advise us on that, but actually we don't have enough representation of people of black, black people, women, or those who live in the LBGTBTTTXYZ246.7657 community club. Fucking dicks. Also just mentioned, it would be co-chained by Debbie Weeks Bernard, Deputy Mayor of Social Immigration and Justice Simmons, Deputy Mayor of Culture and Will Compromise of Artists, Community and Council Leaders and Historians. That's supposed to give me some benefit? No it won't. Because you know what they will be? Anti-British Historians. Just like that guy from Question Time. Summies. Sorry, but it's true. Like, if you... This is the plan. The plan is to get rid of everything that's ever made London, London. And absolutely... Just replace it with folk that nobody gives a shit about. You're going to turn London into a blood fucking place. Nobody's going to want to be there. They'll be saying, oh look, at, oh, look at the diversity. We're so diverse. Don't fucking change it then. Jesus Christ. A new evolution from a Victorian city to, which is what it is, to a new, a more diverse city. That's fucking great. 
Make it more diverse if you want. It's not like all the white folk are fucking extinct. About 40% of them are still there. Fucking cunts. You're trying to destroy everything London and Britain values. You prick. This guy should be fired. But here's something I read from uh, about... This is still in the article as well. Uh, Susan Hall, the Tory group leader of the London Assembly, said the review was unnecessary, a distraction during the coronavirus pandemic. She tweeted, Traffic for London... TfL, Traffic for London is on its knees. Businesses in London are desperate, yet you want to... Consider it on statues. For goodness sake, do your job properly. This is just the, a distraction. Yeah, it is a distraction. It's actually a really fucking stupid distraction because the amount of money, TfL last week, I believe, was actually nearly bankrupt and they actually had to ask a government loan to bail them fucking out. And somehow Sadiq Khan doesn't get the blame for this? It's weird. And it's also, he's been spending a lot of money wasting on these little... PR campaigns, little campaigns, like this one that was shown here, taxpayer cost of 175000 for Sadiq's self-pro PR campaign. Nice to know our money's being wasted. Remember that time where he wanted to promote that thing where there'd be no traffic in London? Like, so it'd be all environmentally friendly that one time? It never fucking went round? Yep. Nobody remembers that one either, but pretty fucking stupid. This is just a distraction. The Young London Labour Movement listed members of statues including Thomas Gray, who founded the building of the Grayest Hospital. You want to burn that down, or what are you going to do with that? I don't know. Who founded the building of the hospital. Hans Sloan, after whom Sloan Square is named. Yes, we know that. Uh, it, it said both benefited from the slave trade but should we take them down we shouldn't take them down because if how are we ever going to learn from the history instead of repeating ourselves again if you see these statues saying oh look there's that guy that built london oh he did that slave trade too well that's not good let's pay make sure we don't make any more slave trades Wait, half the world did it anyway it's before us, but it's our light, we, it's London, it's diverse. Anyway, um, it also listed former lo Lord Mayors from London, Robert Milligan and William Beckford, very big names, and who, who said owned hundreds of thousands of slaves. The Mayor's Commission of Diversity in the Public Realm is focused on... I've read this part. Um, yeah. It's a fucking sham. The whole thing is a sham. It's... I don't... I don't get it. Like, I, I, I just don't fucking get it. You want to destroy London. And it's not this them as well. This is happening in the rest of the UK too. They want to take down these statues of people who... Oh, they did slave trade. What about all the fucking other ones? You already defeated Gandhi. Gandhi of all fucking people. You did Winston Churchill. You called him a racist. Oh wait, he's the one guy who led the country to defeat fascism. And the whole reason you were actually able to debate this fucking things in the first place. Imagine Hitler took over the UK. You'd be fucking killed. You'd be part of the Hitler Youth. This was probably a Hitler Youth. All that black folk, or the Asian folk, or the disabled folk would be fucking deed. That's why you don't let that Nazis ever existed. Thank you, Churchill, for that. And it's actually proven by you, vote. He's actually quite likable. So fuck off. And he, keep going with the article. City Hall says London has become one of the wor world's most diverse cities. Keep it that way then. But, pl uh, sorry, plaques. Street names and s statues largely reflect Victorian Britain. What's wrong with that? London is a very big Victorian city. 
it actually got most of its advancements thanks to the Victorian systems. Like, the sewage system it now has, that actually fucking works. The river was actually expanded a bit. All those bridges, Tower Bridge, extra parts, buildings, places were revamped. There was lots of things done in the Victorian era that actually helped them. Because they, before, they lived in absolute shitholes. But you don't care about that, do you? Mr. Khan said, our statues, our road names, our public spaces reflect a bygone era. Not fucking modern enough for you then. America cannot remove statues not on Greater London Authority controlled by public space such as Trafalgar Square. But you want to fucking take it down, don't you? Like, um, what was this one, the whole entire thing I saw this post on? Um... Here you go. Sadiq Khan says London landmarks will be reviewed and diversity experts will claim. And what was this? Afu Afuka Halish saying topping statues. Here's why Nelson Column should be next. Uh, no, because Nelson Column was. Nelson, Lord Nelson is a hero. He won the Battle of Trafalgar. I don't care about his fucking history that much. Because if you don't realize. The politics that were back then, in the Victorian era, are very, very fucking different to now. You might, they'll be very different to your ideals now, but the folk who lived 500 years ago fought differently from, from 400 years ago, then the ones from 300 to 200 years ago, and then 100 years ago, because they were all fucking different. Jesus Christ, this time we like, normal working class in people would have just finally got the fucking vote. And the woman was still trying to fight for as much of them as they could. I believe that's what it was. You don't care about that, do you? You want to destroy London? Plick. Anyway, Mr. Khan called for councils and landowners to be key partners, he said. It has been campaigning for more diverse statues, but for some time the Black Lives Matter protest has accelerated some of its this stuff. No, they're fugs. Do not listen to fugs. But the thing is, you like fugs. It's not like uh, 30 police officers have been fucking injured by this. Maybe they're just largely peaceful fucking protests. He told Sky News, I suspect recommendations may be well be that some of the statues would be taken down for example some of the slavers worn their statues across our city he told sky news i suspect the recommendations would take some statues taken down example slaver i just said that um but it's okay you've been doing that already haven't you you've been taking down things already the stuff this has happened yesterday the statue of slave owner Robin McWilliam was removed by the West India Quarry because he was a slave trader. How fucking progressive of you. And this is just the beginning, people. We need to protect our history. Be proud of your nation. Join the Restoration Britain group page on my Facebook. We are to protect Britain's national heritage. And thank fuck I'm not in charge, because I would be putting light, tough measures on those monuments. Churchill should be defended. Every single one of them should be defended. All the people should be defended. There's a reason they have a statue, because they made this country great in some form. Why do you want to destroy this? Do your fucking job. Sadiq Khan. Do your fucking job. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means excellent for this channel. 
And then if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!